Hey everyone, John Reed here, author of the 50 Things to See with a Telescope book series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about errors that you may encounter when uploading your book to Kindle Direct Publishing, or KDP. So this specifically comes up on page two of the book setup process where you're loading your manuscript. So I'm only going to talk about the manuscript loading process here and the errors that you'll probably encounter. So I've, you know, ha I have dozens of books um, uploaded with KDP. I used to use CreateSpace, that doesn't exist anymore. And um, so I've, I've probably encountered almost every error there is to encounter. And what's interesting about these is even when you call them on the phone and have their senior support staff look at the issue, a lot of the time they don't know what's wrong. And I'll show you why here. So some background, here's the book I most recently up uploaded, 50 Things to See on the Moon. You can see that it's professionally formatted. Um, and it looks great, and so we were able to get it uploaded successfully. Uh, however, it took 17 tries. Um, I've got 17 different PDFs here that we've uploaded, um, and I've deleted a bunch of them just to save space because they're about 120 megabytes a piece. Um, fortunately, KDP has an unlimited file size. Uh, anyway, let's go into some of the details of what is causing this error. So the first thing you want to try is open the book in a PDF. Uh, if you open the PDF and you get errors, then it won't upload correctly onto KDP. So their system is going to flag it automatically and you'll, you'll get that error that we saw right here. Usually what causes that um, is, a, is a font issue, um, among other things. Anyway, so Sometimes you'll open the file in the PDF and you don't see any issues right away. And that may be because um, your computer has all the fonts it needs and they're not embedded correctly. So there's one, way, one thing you can do to force it to throw that error and that is to flatten your images. So sometimes when you call KDP, they will ask you to do this. Uh, sometimes they may even say incorrectly that they won't accept the files um, without it, this being done. Now, none of my books have their images flattened um, that I've uploaded, but it is a way to trip the error. So what you want to do is hit Tools in Adobe, uh, and I think this is, this is the Pro version, so you will need that. Click Print Production, click Flatten or Preview, and All Pages in Document, and hit Apply. Now what this will do is um, it will flatten all the images and in my case it threw the errors that were causing um, my system to bomb. And here's the error that it threw for me. Cannot extract the embedded font brown display. Some characters may not display or print correctly. Okay, so that's how you check for that error. But now how do you fix it? So that's a little more complicated. What you may need to do, so I know what, what um, font is causing the error, and it was this brown display font right here. So brown display happened to have a couple different different names on my computer. Um, some of that is because um, when we uploaded the book, here we have it uh, twice in um, the fonts that are included in the book. So this came from the design team. They used some custom fonts, whatever. And so it was throwing an error. So one, one thing you can do here is you can check for duplicate fonts. Uh, look for enable duplicates. And so um, if you click here, uh, it's saying none, but if it finds some, there's an option to fix them. So you can try that. Um, but that didn't work for me. It's still through that error. So what I ended up doing is deleting the fonts from my computer so that there were none on there and then reinstalling these one at a time, exporting the file to a PDF. Now I'm using InDesign, which is the industry standard and then um, trying that again, doing the PDF print production preview, flattening the images, and seeing if it threw the error. And once it didn't, I uploaded it, uh, and that solved at least that issue. All right, so uh, again, to delete fonts, just go in here, right-click, um, remove, and then just make sure you actually have the font to to put back. Another test that I did was I opened, this is a Mac, and I opened the book on a PC, and it threw the errors in Adobe right away, um, because that computer did not have fonts. Um, and it actually used a substitute font in the actual book. 
um, which was nearly identical, but that substitute font, if you try and save it or flatten it on the, on the PC and use that alternative font, even though it looks near identical, it won't work um, in, in KDP. It's got to be embedded, and it's got to be embedded correctly. In InDesign, there's some other things that um, the KDP team is not going to see, but that are going to cause their automatic print um, and analyzer tools to bomb. And one of them is that hidden, if there's hidden text boxes that you can't see, those are going to throw an error. So you're going to have to search through your files uh, and find those. So this book was based on a previous book, um, 50 Things to See with a Telescope. And so they, the publisher or the design team used the same template. So what I realized is that there's the occasional font box like this, hidden behind some of the pictures. And once I deleted those, the error went away. Okay, And so there was the occasional one up there. And I also noticed some of them down here behind these chapter headings. So bits and pieces from previous um, book editions that are seeping through. OK, so now that we've fixed those, you may end up with margin issues. And so that's any text that's in your margin. So here in the table of contents, this, uh, this logo or label is way too high. So that's going to trigger an error. So you need to bring that down. All right. OK. So another issue that, that flagged um, for me, now it didn't, it actually uploaded into KDP, it uploaded into the print previewer, um, and I hit approve, and it still bounced back. And their issue was that the ch um, chapter um, headings and page numbers were too close to the bottom of the page. And the way I was able to do that was in my margin. So once I hit export book to PDF, the menu came up, and if I go to marks and bleeds. OK, so so create space requires 1.25 on the top and bottom. Oh, inside, nope, that's the gutter, that's 0. Um, so usually you're going to have 0 0.125 here and 0 0.125 here at the bottom. And so what worked for me is I just zeroed out the top and put the entire um, 0.25 inches at the bottom. And, and what that did is essentially I borrowed um, a little bit of space from the top of the page uh, and put it on the bottom. And there was still enough room here that the book still looked great um, here, as you can see in Amazon. Uh, and you have plenty of room here at the bottom. OK. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully, if you've been having this error, I know it's really annoying. Stick with it. Um, it you know, may take you 17 attempts, just like it took me to get it right. Um, but hopefully, you're able to solve the issue. Um, if not, uh, shoot me a quick note in the comments below, um, and I will think about it and write you back. And hopefully, um, your upload process is as uh, it works. I'm not going to say it's smooth, because it, it almost never is. Anyway, good luck with your book, and again, if, you're, if you want to support me and my work, um, my books are The 50 Things to See with a Telescope, um, 50 Things to See on the Moon, and, and books like that. All right, thanks very much. Bye.